We're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to give a brief introduction to EDS Wellness and uh, what we're doing and my haircut that I'm still getting used to, although I didn't get much <laughs> of it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> right. So I see a few people joining. Um, I know there's a couple more people. There was a number of people registered. I never know who's going to actually sign up or be here. So before you get started, <laughs> at least you're here. That's what matters. Yeah, and honestly, everyone else can see a recorded video later, so that's if right. you're live, then you get to ask me questions, and if you're not, sorry, the questions are only available if you're live. <laughs> that's right. All right, so brief introduction. So I am Kendra Nielsen-Miles. I am the executive director and founder of EDS Wellness. For those that might be joining and don't know, uh, EDS Wellness is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that focuses on all hypermobility disorders, including Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. And we focus on living well, we focus on restoring function, we focus on health education programs. I'm not research for a cure. I'm not here to find the gene because everybody else, there's other organizations that are working really hard and doing a great job on that. But we're here to help people live well and restore function and bring integrative healthcare resources or integrative medical resources to you so that you are empowered as a patient to take back control of your health at least a little bit and also empower yourself to live well at home and, and do things that might help you even just a little bit. And that's what I feel very strongly about. So I'm thankful for everybody here. So this webinar series for 2008 is about integrative solutions. We have some very basic content, like Dr. Afrin will be speaking the next webinar. But we also have, you know, Dr. Abustin, who talked about hypermobility in dancers. We had Brianna talking about the Miracle Morning. So it's all about bringing integrative resources and information to everybody to provide kind of a comprehensive uh, amount of information, both information as educational and also helpful and resourceful to help people live well and restore function. So it's a good combination. Um, I also try to pick topics that aren't really talked about very often. I feel really strongly about that. And um, so sometimes there might be something that might not be the biggest interest to everybody, but that's okay with me. I feel that even if it just helps one person, even just a little bit, Again, like I said, even just improve their life a little bit, empower them a little bit, that, that's worth it to me. So uh, that's why we're here with Brianna. Brianna is a very good friend of mine. She has been instrumental in um, supporting EDS Wellness from a very good friend standpoint, keeping me going, being my cheerleader in many ways. Um, she also has been instrumental into the EDS community. She was in, uh, critical for helping get the um, papers that were the research papers published. Uh, with her family. She's been a huge asset, not just to me as a friend, but also to our community and, and instrumental, like I said, in the back end in a lot of ways that a lot of people don't even realize. So she also is very passionate about the Miracle Morning, about her own journey, which she'll be sharing probably a little bit about this time, but in, in May, she'll be sharing a little bit more about it. And um, she is going to talk about the Miracle Morning and why it's so great and how she's friends with Halavad and um, a little bit about the book that she talked about that she published, the coloring book, but again, that's for next month. But this month, this webinar is really about the intro to Miracle Morning and what is it, how to do it, how to incorporate it in your life, and how it can help you. So, Brianna, thank you very much uh, for being here. I call her Rocket Ship. <laughs> <laughs> and before, and she was just with me last week, too. So it's nice to see you virtually. But before I even keep going, just because I know I'll forget at the end, so this webinar series is our 2008 video webinar 2018. series. 2018. 2018. Oh, my God. What she meant to say 2018. Kendra, do you think we're... Are we in 2008? 2000, I would have been pregnant with my second child then. But no, it's 2018. <laughs> Seamus is almost 10. Um, I have had that child that I was pregnant with in 2008. Um, so 2018 video webinar series and educational program because we are not doing an in-person conference this year uh, for many, many reasons. Wellapalooza is on hold. Uh, however, all the great resources from all the conferences, the physician education conferences for providers, uh, the all class recordings, just five minutes, the yoga recordings, the wealth of is all on our new e-learning platform. We have memberships now. So this webinar series is really EDS Wellness's program initiative for this year. It's focusing on what I can do um, financially to help things keep going and to give back. Um, but just keep in mind that there are two webinars scheduled a month. Uh, we're working on the rest of the schedule for the rest of the year, but next month will be Dr. Afrin. 
Brianna will be back uh, with possibly a special guest in May talking about some other things and Dr. Chiarmonte. Definitely with a special guest. <laughs> yes, definitely. Dr. Chiarmonte is going to be talking about parenting and EDS uh, in the summer. Dr. Dempsey, who works with Dr. Afrin, is going to be in the summer. We're also going to have a child psychologist. There's a lot of different topics that have we have coming up in the webinar series. They're not all broadcasted or shared just yet, but they are scheduled. We're just hammering out the title and exact date. So be on the lookout for that. So with that, Brianna, thank you for being here. Please make sure that you give an introduction to yourself and for those that are here and so tell them exactly what you're going to be focusing on today versus the webinar in May for EDF Awareness Month. And then I'm going to actually shut off my microphone and video while you are doing your you're going to okay. shut up your microphone and video? You're not going to ask me questions? No, I will. I will. I'm just going to give you time. I don't want it to be distracting. All right. You're not distracting. I will. Of course, I'll interject. I always interject if I need to. Okay. okay so well, well, hi, everyone in EDS Wellness. I'm Brianna Greenspan, and um, some people call me a chronic, Ill a chronic illness advocate. Some people call me a chronic illness researcher. Um, I published a study on connective tissue disorders a couple of years ago and started working in the chronic illness field, um, really kind of helping people to figure out resources and tools that could help them on their journey so that they didn't look and feel horrible all the time. And so a lot of that um, has led me to people like Kendra. Um, and Hal Alrod and others who are doing amazing things, whether it's incorporating rituals or habits or tools into their day or advocacy, um, et cetera. Um, and so I'm super grateful to be here. I met Kendra a few years ago um, when I was a big advocate working at Cedar sinai Hospital, working with patients with connective tissue disorders, um, kind of giving them wellness plans and figuring out, like, what are the next steps once you've been diagnosed with, an, with a connective tissue disorder? How do you actually you know, take hold of your life and make yourself feel better and, you know, do it with a smile on your face. And one day, uh, Kendra actually like, found me on the internet and reached out and asked me if I would um, write a story. Instagram. Uh -huh. Instagram. Instagram. Found me on Instagram. That's right. <laughs> you were gonna, I asked you to be in the Dr. Story. Brie 1111. So she That's asked me to be in Our Stories of Strength, um, a, a book that she published, which is basically like a collaboration of lots of different people with ehlers danlos Syndrome, um, sharing their journey, whether it's like one pivotal moment of their journey or like their whole journey as a whole. Um, and it's very much like chicken soup for the soul, but for ehlers danlos patients. So I was really excited about that opportunity. I shared two stories, um, which were both pivotal for me and actually kind of weird because when I think about them today, there are two things that are like a blip on the radar in comparison to what I've accomplished at this moment, but like were a huge deal at the time. So I'm really excited that there's actually like um, a document, like some documentation of that journey for me. Um, I shared one story about swimming a hundred laps in a pool. So I don't know if any of you have ever swam a lap let alone 100 laps, but um, very shortly into my aqua therapy journey, um, somebody challenged me to use the pool in ways that would help strengthen my muscles and joints, um, and that was always a really big challenge for me. We did a lot of um, very specific exercises, but swimming um, in any capacity was very difficult. Um, I, my shoulders would dislocate constantly and I didn't really understand how to move my feet, move my body in a coordinated way. And so, um, one day I told myself that I was going to figure out how to tighten my, some weak joints that I had with, uh, with swimming and that I was going to swim a hundred laps and it didn't matter how long it took me. And it was going to be my like activity of the day, the, after, the activity of the morning, activity of the afternoon, activity of the day. I didn't really care how long it took me, but I was going to make it happen, uh, or at least I hoped I would. Um, and so I, I literally spent the entire day doing this. It took me like seven plus hours. Um, and I, I learned so much about dedication to my body in that um, experience. Now I've done, now I've swam a hundred laps a, a lot of times. Um, and, and each time um, is so interesting to me because I remember the times when I couldn't really swim or I couldn't really be in a pool. It hurt to move. And so I'm constantly finding new things to push myself. Um, and this, this 
uh, journey to 100 laps was one of the ways. So I wrote about that. Um, and then I wrote a story about conquering Joshua Tree. Um, I was going to say climbing Joshua Tree. Yay! I'm so proud. I can't even. Um, so about 11 years ago, I had an L5-S1 fusion surgery, and I lost the ability to walk. It was incredibly challenging. My parents actually pulled me out of school and put me in a 378-hour therapy program where I um, – Learn to walk, talk, see, hear, and breathe all at the same time, which was a really interesting um, experience. Um, I did nine hours 